Russia actual play. The team has gathered at the treehouse to discuss some possible ways to keep earning that new yen. Improv, when not leaving random surprises laying about the floor, continues to crush the Matrix and bend it to her will. Horatio embraces his inner gunslinger, and both Juliet and Kennel get leads on their next possible job. It's time to begin episode 8. I, I thought that's why they put bombs in people. So last time, you guys did a a little mission for the <clears throat> for the Crimson Crush. You were gifted a large amount of commercial grade explosives, some money. You were able to get them a chemistry facility that will be used for nefarious purposes, most likely. Nice. As well as a handful of cars, I believe. Oh yeah, because we killed everyone and took their cars, right? Hey, I, I or, stole or the revolution. Or was just a monowheel? Or I think it was just a monowheel that you. Took. Oh right, yeah. But was it a monowheel or the revolution, or is that the same thing? The, they're the same thing. Okay, thank you. I, I didn't want to assume because there's also the one that there's there's another one that's similar to it, but okay. Uh, that's the Cyclops. Thank you. That was the other one I was thinking of. Only hipsters use the Cyclops. So what do you guys do exactly after all of this? Do you guys head back to the treehouse and kind of bunk up as a team? Do you spread out to your various nefarious purposes? Or like, what do you guys do on, on your days off? Well, I would have spent most of my days off uh, taking the kilograms of commercial grade explosive I got and turned them into bombs. Probably just in like the middle of the treehouse. There's just like explosive material and detonators scattered around. You know, I'd just be like, oh, you know, don't, don't, don't touch any of that. It might, you know, it might all blow up. Don't worry oh, about it, though. These will be good. If, if you throw it for me, I could shoot it. That'd be real cool. Um, that, that, that might not actually work because don't, you know, you know, don't worry about it. Um, no, it well, works in the movies. You better do it. What I, I mean, well, I mean, like I can just, I can just trigger it like, you know, with my head. Um, you know, because be, because remember I told you I have that I have that I have the cyber deck in my head that you can't remove it because otherwise it'll just like it'll just be useless. Um, that 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 lets me just set them off. He can throw them though, and she'll point to Kennel, and she'll be like, if you if you like toss this through a window or something, I can trigger it and it'll probably kill everybody inside and also collapse the building or part of it at least. I really don't like the idea of of a roof falling on my head, but the idea of a roof falling on somebody else's head, yo, that's. Well, he I mean, he, just, probably... he does like the, the the two fist taps to his chest, and then he'll point at you. Well, I mean, I mean, they're probably not gonna have heads once it goes off because um, when 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 like a body gets hit by an expo, you know what, you know what? Okay, fine, don't worry about it. Saying you're scared, Channel. You're saying you're you're afraid of little bombs, just like you were afraid of some bullets. Afraid of bull? Wait, yo, yo, who was afraid of bullets? I threw a grenade at a group of people, and you know what happened? They got run over by a car. Oh, careful, careful, careful. As you guys are arguing, she's saying, uh, she sees you moving and she says, don't, don't, don't touch that. We'll all die. There's like a wire on the ground. What are you doing? Just, just leaving those around. Look, 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 it's fine as long as you don't touch it. So, so, you know, don't. And then she'll go back to making bombs. And Kennel's just going to look down at his size 44 feet and all the wires on the floor. You realize I walked across this floor to get in here, right? Yeah, no, I probably should have said something earlier, but I mean, I said it now. Sorry, I need uh, I need to keep finishing this one though, and she'll just like take you know take like a, a chunk of commercial explosive out and wrap it in uh, wrap it in uh, tin foil and then and then duct tape a bag of uh, of metal shards around it. What if what if uh, Juliet is like on on some of that that stuff you know that makes you all hallucinate? She's all wandering around. Well, I mean, I mean yeah. that'd go really bad for her. Oh, it could go bad for all of us. Like, if we're no, out here when that explodes, we might all die. I'm, well, just saying, no, I'm just saying, you dang right, it would go bad for her, because last time I had drugs, I shared with everybody. So if she's tripping on some Asa, or she's rolling on some X, and she's not sharing, yo, that, that is that is not how how, well, how, uh, how teams operate. I'm just saying. Well, I mean, well, I mean, you know, like, I mean, all the bombs I have here, you see how when I'm making them, I always, I always face the directionality away from me. I'll be fine. Man, girl, you are always thinking, aren't you? Damn, yeah, you, you, you definitely got that brain. Wait, I'm sitting across from you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It'd be real bad for you if you stepped on it. I'd be okay. No, but, but like, doesn't he have a lot of bullets on him? And then the bullets would explode, and then you could get hit by like, like a bullet. Well, I mean, I mean, the bullets. Will, you know what? You know what? That's actually probably an okay idea. Hold on, and she'll take some duct tape and just wrap the wire in duct tape. It should be good now. Just don't step on it too much. <laughs> We're not moving the wire. We're just gonna wrap it in duct tape. That'll do it. 
So, uh, Mr. Jim, in answer to your question, what Kennel has been doing on his, <laughs> his quote-unquote day off, if you will, he's been checking in with Karen Delray, his contact out in Auburn, uh, just, you know, trying to, just basically hanging out with her. They're really good friends. They went through the foster system together. And uh, as my failed roles can testify, uh, he was kind of prying to see what sort of clients she has. She's a real estate agent and was hoping that she had some kind of somebody who worked in the chemical industry or the pharmaceutical industry because uh, he was looking into getting a the materials for a chemical shop. Uh, unfortunately, the guy that she did know that she sold a house to had just gotten rid of all that stuff because he's moving into a new career field. He's looking at the world of retirement now. Uh, so unfortunately, he struck out there. Uh, he swung by a couple times, checked in on Cocoa Puff Shimmy, his info broker. Uh, not really doing anything, just coming by, giving a high five, having a beer. Uh, just trying to keep his contacts fresh, you know? All right, what about Horatio? What about you? Well, we've been uh, we've been working on our dual wielding. So so we got a bunch of barrels and scrap that are stuck out in the, in the yard outside the treehouse. And then we got our, our TMP, and we do the quick draw, you know, with one hand and the other. And then we take take turns uh, blasting things with the TMP. It's a lot of good fun. Oh and... wow, you should get a laser sight. No, what about I've you? got what about... this, uh, this, uh, this smart link. Then he like looks at you really lied, like you could actually see it in his eyes, even though you can't. It like calibrates the shot and and, and like uh, compensates for the wind and, and like air pressure and stuff. Oh so yeah, when, like it's more humid. Oh yeah, I have one of those. It's dude, weird, because when you're, like, shooting really far, it, it makes it so the bullets curve with the curvature of the Earth. Yeah. Do you also have microscopes in your eyes? No, that's weird. You should get oh, microscopes. Oh, is that, is that, so you can, is that so you can see the planets at night? No, um, it, you know, it helps a lot when I'm, when, when I'm, like, making stuff, because microscopes help a lot when you do that. Also, look, and she'll hold up her hands, and her hands go all deform me, and start waving around in, in crazy, in crazy patterns, like only someone with two flex hands could do. Dude, Juliet, did you did you get me some X? Cause yo, I am tripping right now. Nope. Oh. God, that'd be horrifying. Oh, that's creepy. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> no, but I, I do got these these whiz eyeglasses, and then his eyes get dark because of the flare comp. That way, I don't have to wear glasses. I just have dark eyes. Oh wow, where did you ask for those? Well, some other guy, some other work used to have them. And then I shot him, and when I traded his body into the street dock, he put him in for free. It was pretty whiz. Hey, hey, right, yo, did, did I tell you guys that uh, that Red Hawk came through and he got me some more dogs? Oh, wow. Um, can you make sure they don't chew on any of the wires? Because they'll probably get electrocuted. Oh, no, I still I still got them back at my crib. Don't worry, you know, because Hoder's keeping everybody in line. But I got Gregor, who he's a he's a Rottweiler. Like, he's real big. I mean, he ain't very smart because... Like, I was walking him, and he walked into a pole. It was funny, because it went dong when he hit it. And he looked up, like he didn't know what happened. Uh, but then he, you were looking at this other honey that was walking by at the dog park, and then I walked into the pole, and it was like dong. Anyway, uh, but uh, he's real good at keeping places safe. Like, I've been teaching him not to let anybody get near my house. And then I got, I got John, who's kind of stupid. Uh, he's, I think he's a pug and a husky mixed together, because he's like a pug, but he's got a long nose, and he's got a lot of fur. And he falls down a lot. Um, I, I I might just give him to a friend of mine. I don't know. But then, yo, remember how I was talking how you can train a dog to be like real mean so it attacks everybody? So you can just like throw him through a window and let him kill everybody? Yo, man, I got me one of those now. I named him Joffrey. Um, can, um, question. Can 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 they like wear vests? Uh, you, you, I, you, soon, soon. I'm working on that because you know it's like when you have you ever tried to like put shoes on a cat before? You know how they just kind of fall down and then uh. they kick their feet and, I mean, it's well, kind of no, no, well no, well it, it's I'm, I'm working on it. You got You got to teach him how to do it, and that takes a little bit of time. So so we'll get there. I mean I mean Hodor knows how to do that stuff because he has this great little tuxedo vest that I put him in sometimes when we try to pick up on women. But uh, no, the other the other three they're just you know I'm, I'm trying to train them the important things first, like you know how to how to tear a man's genitals off, you know with with, with a verbal command. Or, you know, how to keep people from okay. breaking into your house. You know, that's, that's what I'm working on right now. Okay. I uh, No, no. Yeah, no. I was just asking because, you know, I mean, if they're wearing a vest, I can pack it full of explosives. Yo, that's a good idea. And then, the, right? how, how are they going to take the vest off when they get where it's got to go? Oh, no, they won't. They're going to die, too. Oh, man. We'll have... Damn. That's... People say I was cold-blooded. We're just going to have to make sure it's a dog I don't oh. like that we do that with. 
But then we could have barbecue afterwards. That's like two, um, well, two birds with one bullet. Um, well, well, I mean, probably not, because, like, so, so, I mean, I know I've been saying this a few times, when explosives go off, there doesn't, you know what, okay, you know what, okay, you know what, don't worry about it. It just goes back to making explosives. <laughs> all this, all this talk of, of stuff blowing up, it's making me hungry. You know, there's, there's a good deal at the Stuffer Shack right now. Got the extra curry wars, sorry dogs, they're great. Right. Yo, there's a, there's a guy over in uh, Sophocles that has really, really good, and I mean, I'm talking like top-notch barbecue devil rat. Mm, I could go for some, some of this. <laughs> goes, it goes with the slushy. Yeah, you might need to get your kidneys checked out if you keep drinking that stuff, man. You realize that there's that's all like chemicals and like chemical flavors in that, right? Oh, I know it's great. It stays cold for for like three weeks, even though the ice is melted. But yeah, but but that's the thing is like they they don't even use real purple in that thing. I'm just, I mean, you do you, baby, you do you. I just, you know, it's just if if it starts hurting when you pee, um, you you might want to go see one of those uh, kidneyologist guys who who look who what knows about your kidneys and all. I don't have any kids. Why are you asking about my kids? No, no, that, that's, um, that's a different kind of... Why, is it a kind of different kind of doctor? I don't know. I mean, kids got kidneys, don't they? Man, come on. I, I don't know about all, the, about all that all that, that, that botany stuff, man. You just leave that for the smart people to ask those questions. Then we'll all look over at... Uh, yeah, as one at collective improv. group turns their heads towards improv. <laughs> wow. Wow, son. But yeah, but yeah, let's try to get... But yeah, I mean, uh, so 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 are we trying to get some chemical shit? Because I learned more chemistry last time. Ooh, I, we could have like a a purple slushy machine here. That'd be really whiz. It it make this place really homey. Well, see see now the thing is I had I had an idea. Now the problem is we're gonna need like a van or something to cook it in. But I was thinking we set up, baby, we set up our own little drug lab. I'm just saying that you know maybe rather than having to buy product out on the street and you never know what you're gonna get. Maybe we could just start cooking our own, and maybe you know we can make a little bit of side cred like that. I mean, I can make it here. It just, it just, you know, I mean, I, I mean, just make sure you don't set it off because you know if that's near the bombs, it's going to be a lot worse. But you know, I mean, as long as you're careful, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I can oh, do well, it. You could, you could talk to like, um, you know, like like back in the day, Ares when they wanted to get all the all the orcs out, they they had these black operations where they were bringing in real good drugs getting all the orcs hooked so that they couldn't like do real jobs and, and put them in poverty. You you know, you could use that kind of model, right? Why didn't they just shoot you? I already just shot you. No, it's 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 part of the plan to keep to keep drugs down. But I mean if they shoot you then you are down. Well not me. Oh. Probably not Kennel. He's pretty big too. <laughs> Kennel's just gonna not really paying attention to the conversation, lean back and flex one of his arms because he was sitting there in a wife beater and some some jeans and he's just going to flex one of his arms and be like yeah I, I am pretty big well i mean well i mean that means you can carry everything we need then right like i mean i mean well, i mean why do we need a truck if you can just carry it all well yo man my, my feet do get tired after a while what if we have to go down to puyallup or something to get stuff you expect me to walk all the way back with like a a refrigerator full of bombs and and weed on my back come on man I don't no, know. No, we just we just go to like the KE station. They'll have all that stuff there. Yo, that's a good idea. What if what if we hit KE and we stole everything in their uh what do they call it? The evidence room. Um, that seems like a really good way to die, I'm just saying. Or or to become a street legend, am I right? Um probably not. No. I have to agree with the sledge here. <laughs> yeah. See? See? See, we do agree on things. See? She reaches out to pattern and then reconsiders. Oh, yeah, no, don't touch me. Um, if you're not grounded, the static electricity might set the bomb off. And flinches. So, hey, hey, loud. I've, I've actually been thinking about this, like, no joke. What, like, I mean, like, what if we... Because, you know, we're all pretty good at stuff. Like, you know, improv knows how to do that Matrix stuff. And, you know, Horatio and Juliet, they go to the guns. And, you know, I'm, pr I'm pretty smooth with the words. I'm just, I mean, I'm not trying to pat myself on the back. But, uh, and he'll actually slowly reach one hand up and pat himself twice on the back. You know, maybe I could talk us in a door. What if, what if you know, we set up do a little heist of some, some stuff, you know? Oh, I, mean, I know where some, some good stuff for shacks are. No, man, stuff for, stuff for shacks are small time. I was rolling stuff for shacks when I was, like, 15. I'm saying, what if we find like, like what about uh, uh, the place where you buy drugs, like on the up and up, the the pharmacies? 
what if what if we hit a pharmacy like a like we go in like with masks on so they can't tell us who they can't tell who we are and we roll one of them. Why don't why don't why don't why don't you just blow the wall open with this? And she points at the bomb. And then and then you know shoot everybody inside and take all their stuff. Well, yeah, but we wouldn't even have to shoot nobody. I mean, like we just we just take the wall down. We just grab what we want and we can just be like, "Thanks." And we throw it all in the back of the gopher and then we just roll out. Or I mean, take you're probably going to have to shoot people. The hospital afterwards? I mean, hospitals are where you use this stuff, right? Oh my god. Now now I'm just thinking of what the security of a fucking hospital in Redmond would be. Holy shit. There is one. No, no, see, we sell them. There's, there's one hospital in Redmond, a legit hospital in Redmond. Who is it owned by? Is it a Doc Wagon? I, th- hospital? I think it's. I'm pretty sure it's Doc Wagon. Oh God, no. Yeah, we no gotta go for a, a, a non-legit hospital. <laughs> yes, it is in Touristville, owned by Doc Wagon. Oh God, no. Please well, no. Well, mm-hmm. we could, we could like. I know you guys aren't into the racing thing, you know, like street racing, but a lot of the racers, they do a lot of drugs. If if we go, we could like hold it up and then take all their drugs and, and maybe one of them and find out who they got it from. And then we could like go to that guy and take all his stuff. And then bam, we're like in the business. That might work because, because, you know, if, 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 if that guy knows like, you know, where he gets his stuff and they know him, then what I can do is I can pack his car full of explosives and we can take out most most of the guys at other place when like they're like around the car. Or like, you know, didn't you like uh didn't you like find some big boss guy from from that last job? You told us about the trace, right? Oh I did, that's right. I I bet they have more than one operation. And then we're like getting stuff completely... and we're helping out the crush. I, I had completely forgotten about that. You're right, I did. Uh, where uh, where did you say we had traced that thing to, uh, Pickle? It was Brainhaven. Uh, I I assume the spiders don't get along with the crush. No, Red Hot specifically mentioned that they're currently having to fight off the uh, the spiders as well as a few other gangs. The last time. That's right, he did. Okay, that could work. Oh no, my God, no, and we have. No, oh my no, God. Hold on, before we go any further, I'd asked all of you questions except for Juliet. Juliet, what have you been doing? The last couple of days she's been methodically scouting around the tree house just trying to familiarize herself with the landscape in as big a radius as she possibly can so you're gonna spend like a couple of couple of days just learning the area mm-hmm. oh roll me a navigation check it's called survival or yes survival roll me a survival check uh one second oh sorry that's uh yeah actually one hit are you happy with the amount of successes? Mm. Nope. You get a pretty good layout of the area. The smokestack that this place originally belonged to, most most of the uh, incinerator facility is gone now. Cause it's a big old industrial smokestack, right? Most of that building is gone now. But as you're digging through everything, you notice that there is a that there is still a subterranean area. Or you're able to find a way to get to a subterranean area that actually leads below all of this. Hmm. Would she want to push on by herself, or...? No, this is for later. Okay. Where where did you say the entrance was again? The point she found it exactly? I'm still drawing up the layout for everything. I'm trying to to decide where 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 all that's at. Okay. But whenever I get it Whenever I actually finish it off, I'll have a map up for you guys and have everything good to go. Wonderful. Thank you, sir. No problem. But yeah, that's good for Juliet for now. She's just been doing that and training herself, picking up new moves. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you guys a couple of options here. Kennel, after well, after a couple of days, uh, you get a call from Coco Puff Shimmy. Yo, dog, how's it going? Yo, play a good to hear from you. What up on your side of town? You still looking for a uh, for a uh, doctor sorts? Uh, more like the uh, the kind who's good with with uh, prescriptions, if you feel me. I mean, if you, you know, if you know one who who can do the cutting, you know, maybe maybe we can talk about that. I may have heard about somebody who uh, who knows a thing or two about uh, about augmentations that. Eh, could use some help if you're interested. 
Well, it all depends what kind of help is he looking for. I mean, is does he need a problem disappeared or does he need a, a problem? Well, what else would a doctor need? Dang. What what kind of what kind of what kind of problems he got right now? He needs something grabbed. A lot of something's grabbed. Well, player, you are talking to the right person because yo, I'm rolling with this crew these days. They pretty good at all this snatch and grab stuff. So, so you in or what's yeah, going I on? I mean, I'll, I'll have to, I'll have to talk it over with the team, you know, because that's how we work. It's one of those democratic union kind of things. But uh, yeah, I'd say, I'd say we're in. You know, we're just talking about grabbing a little bit of stuff. How hard could it be? I mean, dang. I, I'll give you his call number and you just call him now. Just call it whenever you get the chance. Tell him, tell him Shimmy sent you. Yo, man, you know I'll hook you up for your standard rate of 5%, right? 15, sucker. 15. Ah, oh, man, you're breaking my arms. All right, deal. I'll hook you up 7%, just like always. 10. 10. Take it or leave it. You know what? You know what? I'm going to say yes to 10 because I saw what you were wearing the other day, and clearly you need the money for a new wardrobe, so I got you, player. And he just begins trash talking you until you eventually <laughs> just hang up. <laughs> Click. So uh, at at the treehouse, uh, since everybody is gathered, uh, Kennel will pass the information. Yo, I got this player. Yo, he, he go by he go by Coco Puff Shimmy. All right. Yo, he's he's a real old school pimp. He's got the fur coat. He's got the purple hat with that sort of like velvet material on it. I swear, man. One time he had a feather in it, but this bird came down and, like yanked the feather out of his hat, and it was, it was hilarious. But uh, he know he knows this fool who. Uh, you know, a doctor type, you know, the kind that uses the scalpels, and uh, he might need some uh, some stuff for us to uh, to go and get. Oh wow! I can, you know, I mean, I mean, I mean, if we get if we get a bunch of that stuff, I can make it so that, so that it's like we always owned it. Well, I mean, I mean, you know, as far as anyone's concerned, we always owned it. Let's talk can... to the good doctor. Around this time, Juliet, you also get a call. Uh oh. Well, a call. Quote, unquote, you get a message <laughs> uh, telling you to head to Dead Drop 3A. Yes. And she would head out. Pick it up. Assuming there's no complications. What's on it? Well, once you arrive, it's it's old uh, locker, like what you would have at like what appears to have once been like a, a uh, community pool or something of that sort. Mm -hmm. But once you put in the code for the mag lock, it, it pops open and Inside is just a simple, is a uh, disposable comlink, and on it says "have a line on, have a line on a fence." If you if you want, call this number, and there's a com code underneath. Oh, Zap, you wonderful man! And she would call. Hello. Hello. A good friend of mine said you're a fence. You're a Zap. So. My yes. Glad to see you, Nolan. Well, um, just so you know, he he may have sold me something that that's kind of got me in trouble. Oh, poor boy. I'm sure it was all your fault. Do you want to do business or not? Yeah, I, I, um, I assume he told you that like, I sell things and buy things and all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. Very useful. Yeah, I'm sure um, everyone. Yeah, um, well, I may have sold something that belonged to somebody that didn't actually cover their tracks like I thought they did. <laughs> Which one do I kill? Ah, uh, well, they're involved with the axe. Oh, that's a lot of killing. If I make this simple for you, what do you want me to do? Well, if you could find the guy who sold me it and, you know, have him come back and potentially Ooh, get the off my tail. I like well, this I mean, All right. I think he stole it from them, and I think I stole it from from them. But it, anyway, Ooh, just like if, you, if you could find him, bring him back, and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, kind of hand him off, we'd, that would that'd be amazing. Tit for tat for you. Now, first of all, uh, can I call you back at this number, or how else would you like me to contact you? Yeah, uh, just use this. It's fine. Very it, good. It may, take, and... it, it, it may be a bit for, for me to answer. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm kind of hiding. Yes, I doubt. You really need to move somewhere where you don't need to whisper, by the way. Uh, so, who was our little goat's name? Pat. Pat. Uh, no, Pat, 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 um, Pat, Pat, yeah. Pat, Pat, Pat. Sorry, trying to remember. I don't tend to get on first name. I don't tend to get on this is your life full on the name line. basis. I, I know! I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Uh, Pat, 
Yeah. Yeah. It was a stupid name. It was a stupid name. And again, O'Harry? Patrick! No, uh, it was was a play on words of that. Um, Oh, that's right. Pat bitch. Pat bitch. That's a play on... Never mind. I, I don't, I don't know. No reason just to scrag him. Never mind. I'll scrag him. It's fine. it's fine. No, it was pitch. It was pitch. That's what it was. Pitch. <sighs> okay. Deep breaths. How do I find him? Do you have a com code? Do you have a location? Do you have a description? A hangout? Come on. Give me something more. You know you can do it. Yeah, quit, quit being so smug, you jerk. Well, it's your life on the line, not mine. He, he has he has a, a a really different car. It's one of the it's one of the Asian ones. Not it looks like a Shin Young, but not quite. It's it's the one it's the one it's the keep going. It's the one that uh, MCT makes. One of their one of their groups. Keep going. It, it, it's it's a. Uh, it's bright red. He, he's a trog. He, he um, trog. Uh, as hold in... on, hold on, hold on. Mm. And like in, in the background of the call, you hear him. You hear like something shuffling. And then uh, he, he he comes back on. He's like, oh, I found it. I found it. Um, hold on. And then uh, he sends you a a data file over that has a recording of of somebody uh, standing up in front of a shop as he gets into a. A bright green, yours doubt, Shin Hyung that, that you, you would basically be able to find pretty much anywhere. From where you're at, uh, f- from from the quality of the video, it's kind of hard to tell exactly who he is or or get a good description of him. Okay. Is he trog in terms of tusks or uh, horns? Tusk. He is very prominent tusk. Okay. I, I'm sorry. Um, actually, I should be asking about height. Is he something like eight to nine feet tall, or he's more like six or seven feet tall? He's very large for what would be an orc. Gotcha. Small for a troll. Okay, so it's possible that he's cut the horns off, but more most likely it's an orc. This is yes, this is Juliet's mind at work. Any of that to find marks on the guy to get a close a good look at his face from the picture? You're able to as he's like walking to the car. You, you get a you can see a he has a he has a tattoo on the back of his head like it's shaved. The tattoo is a decorative uh, tribal. Do you have like cold like history or culture or anything like that on Juliet? Uh, in terms of culture, pretty mainstream conservative. Think low middle wage slave, and then parents are at later on in life. It's some sort of tribal tattoo. It's uh, but instead of the black, it it's instead of black, it's more like again on the feed, it looks more gray or like a gray or a dark blue versus black. Okay. Hmm. And she doesn't recognize it, right? No. Okay. It's a fantastic way to start, though. So, oh, this will do perfectly. Thank you very much. What was your name again? You, you just just call me um. Just call me Ajax. Ajax. Very good. Is that like the spring? Uh, never mind. Uh, I'll be calling back soon. Have a good day. She hangs up. And yes, okay. this is her sadistic streak coming out. I figured. <laughs> I'm fine with it. So, you guys can pursue what you guys were wanting to do. I'm totally cool with that. I had a idea along those lines already, but you guys are already taking it that way. Or you could pursue potentially... One of these other two jobs. Oh, boys. I found a fence for us. He's in trouble. Oh, wow. That'd be pretty good because we seem to have like a lot of stuff that I reprogram that we take off of dead people that we don't mm-hmm. actually need. He just point, needs to like, like, find a troll, you know, tie him up and then deliver him to the axe. Oh. Perhaps just his head. We'll see. Um, don't worry. We can make him do it. Oh, just yeah. just got to find the guy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine with that. Do the wide beaming smile. I'm fine with that. So, do you think you can do anything with this picture? Uh, yeah. Excellent. Go on, do your computer thingy. Okay. Give me, give me a little bit of time. So, so is we all thinking that, uh, you know, we should get the fence first so we can move some of the stuff? Because, yo, we we got a lot of guns just sitting around here, and if 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 the five O comes rolling in here, if the pawns come up, we are we are we are going to be in a bad way if they spot all the. What the hell am I talking about? You're making bombs over there. <laughs> 
I'm gonna go oh, back and throw my knives. Roll up yeah. Those guns, so we can like shoot them. Yeah. Um. So guys, uh, are we are are we actually gonna look for this guy? Because if so, you might want to go take a nap because I'm gonna be out for a while. And she, and, and as she says that, she kind of makes herself comfortable. She's gonna rest her head on the giant pile of explosives. <laughs> sure. Sure. Okay. Um. Give me a little bit of time, guys. Does anyone else have any computer? Nope. Rip. I know about cars. No, no, that doesn't help. Don't worry about it then. Yo, I I know a little bit about computers. Like, yo, if you if there's a movie where like some like hot like fine honey like like show the titties, I know how to find what movie that is. Like, I'm I'm good at that. Um, that that's probably not gonna help here. So don't worry about it. Um, like I said, you might want to go nap. This is gonna take a while. Also, don't step on any of those wires because we're all gonna die if you do. And she'll lie down. She'll rest her head on the pile of explosives. Close her eyes, and we're gonna do us a search. <laughs> I, I really want to help, but I'm so worried ah! because my dice pool is only four, so I'm, I'm I'm worried about that that glitch happening. Horatio, you you notice that you recognize the type of car. It's very popular with a couple of gangs. For, well, a go gang with the go gang that you're around. It's hard. It's it's hard to exactly like tell which one this specifically is because they all have something fairly similar. Well, that was a terrible roll. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, did you edge that? Yes. Because it's the only okay. way it's the only way I can have a large enough pool to do it. Well, you can re-roll um, at a minus two, just no exploding. Oh uh, well, but with no exploding, uh, my pool is way smaller because I'm a seven edge, right? That's true. I'll I'll probably just have to start us from a T three when I wake up. Sorry, boys. Does he ah, well. look like he's actually a racer though, based on his car? Does he have the telltale step marks from where he ran the guy? You know. Yeah, like with, with um, the years kid, is it more just flashy look at me, or is it like the the additional fin on the tail of the car to get the downward force or the, the, the aerodynamic rims on there? Do you have like a modifications or anything for like vehicle modifications or just vehicles? Just vehicles. Uh, we're all vehicles then. And if you want to get like a judge like off of how this guy's walking, you can roll uh, lo uh, logic pilot ground craft instead of reaction. As far as vehicles goes, it definitely looks like this guy's put some performance modifications in it. it you, you've seen it before in just about all of our racers that you've been around. He does have that strut of like he knows what he's doing. He gets in, he has, he has like a ritual, like as soon as he gets in the car, he follows a very specific thing that you can tell he's done hundreds of times. Oh, guys, this guy's like, he's, he's definitely a racer, right? He has like the swagger, the racing swagger. You, you can tell by the way he kind of has to squat a little bit as he walks because he's used to sitting in the low rider seat. So he's loaded, you mean? Well, he'll you probably know, have a, an extra car. gun. Yeah, he'll have an extra gun underneath the dashboard and, and probably one in the sideboard and maybe one underneath the, uh, in the roof somewhere and, and, and another behind the seat or in the seat and maybe uh, some on the car. I'm supposed to be the pessimist here. So what you're saying is we need to be ready and not actually try to race him somewhere because he's best to do that. Uh, uh well, I'm, I'm pretty good too. Oh, okay. Like, that's how I got the gopher. Yeah, I, wait, we stole a gopher. Well, the other one. Oh, yeah, the, the one that with the, the springs that was all broken and the back was dragging on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you guys but, pitched but in and fixed, fixed that. Yeah, you guys I, pitched I, in and got it fixed. He's, he's just messing with Horatio right now. Oh, okay. My bad. And then but it's fine could, now. And you could always repair the other gopher as well. That is something that you guys could invest in. Because right now it's sitting on one box. Oh, um, I can... Uh, I'm actually a mechanic. I, I, can, I can do some mechanic work if you'd like. That's up to you guys. You guys already tried to fix the car? No, but, I, just, I just break the cars. I don't fix them. Now, now, here's the thing, though, is rather rather than working on all these other cars, I mean, that's just going to cost some new yen. And I don't know about y'all, but, you know, my, my credit stick might be a little bit fat right now, but it's going to get skinny real fast when it's time to buy groceries. You know, maybe maybe we should do a little, like, I don't know, like, if we hook up, we do this job for this guy, you know, he can he can fence all, all this stuff we've been gathering, and that'll be some extra money going in our pockets. Or if we go get the street dog guy, I mean, street dogs... Yo, I mean, they always need someone to to collect. Like, I mean, like, like, what happens if you don't pay for your new arm? I mean, they don't just say you can keep it. So, that's, I mean, that's a lot of work that could be going our way with either of these people. True enough. One oh, I thought that's ones. why they put bombs in people, so that if you didn't pay, they could blow you up. Like, isn't that what they did to her? And then he points at Improv, passed out on the bombs. 
hey, I've been wondering about that. What if, like, with her obsession to bombs, what if, what if she put that bomb in herself? I well, then again, it'd be like a you know a good way to make sure she doesn't think too stupid and just click the boom and. Yeah, just don't stand too close to her if like she gets shot because she might explode. Because if like the bullet hits the bombs, it'll explode. So it has this dreamy sort of smile on her face. Like, like when you shot her with the taser, I bet you're kind of lucky she didn't blow up then. <laughs> Blinks, eyes wide. Oh. Oh, dude, yo, that's that's right, because I saw a movie once where this player was holding a light bulb, and he got shot by a t- with a taser, and the light bulb started lighting up in his hand. Oh, fine. Remember shooting the switch. Well, don't, don't you have some of them rubber bullets like the cops use when there's a riot? Ooh! Yes, I do. I'm sorry, I just love the image of the three of us standing around Improv's unconscious body, which is currently sprawled over a bunch of half-constructed bombs. And we're talking about methods of violence to use against her so we don't set off this imaginary cortex bomb that she has. Why does everyone <laughs> want to kill me? I'm just trying to help. This, this wow. is just the way we prove that we're good people. Don't take it on any offense. Julia yeah, just no. doesn't like people in general. <laughs> Feels bad, man. No, no just kidding. Uh, it's because like in movies, the, the Decker always betrays you. So you got to be ready. It's the Decker? No, no, man. Those movies, is, it's always the old face. guy. It's always the old you guy who, who betrays you. Because he's got that young, haughty wife, but he betrays the I have an old guy. Well, I mean, well, no, maybe. No, I think that's Kennel. Kennel looks old. Well, you t- play what you're talking about. <laughs> you're, you're older <laughs> than I am. Muscles. Well, yeah, but that's only because I was born before you was. She's looking between the two. Girls, you're both like, pretty, and you both have wonderful muscles. Now shut up and do something productive. Oh, well, we could probably, like, drive around and just see this guy's car. She said she'd be out for a while. We could. Hey, Kendall, how was it we're supposed to talk with your dog? Yo, I got a comm link number. All we gotta do is call this guy up. He just wants us to go find a, a whole bunch of a something and and take it. I'm guessing because he's you a got doctor. Yet? No, no, no. Yeah, I want to talk to y'all. You know, my, my player called me. And he said that he he had this guy's name, except you know just just so you know my uh my guy wanted like fifteen percent, so I'm just I'm just giving you the heads up. He wanted like fifteen percent, so uh you know whatever mm-hmm. we get, we got to cut him his his fair share, you know. But he gave me the com link number. All we gotta do is call up this this doctor. I need some stuff, and then we'll get the deets that way. All right, do it. Ring ring ring. Yeah. Ring ring ring. Hello. Yo, doctor, I heard from a certain uh, a certain guy that likes to shimmy that you needed a little bit of a, a, some heavies to come in on something for you. Oh, that crude gentleman. Yes. I'm in need of some muscle, if you, if you so desire. Uh, Kendall will hit the mute button really, really quick on the comm link and <laughs> look at Horatio and Juliet. Yo, he's got one of those rich people voices. I'm going to put him on speaker. And he'll put it on speakerphone. So yeah, all he told me was that uh, you had an is- an issue with uh, with a distributor who was not providing you your supply. Yes, this group of individuals is not quite as malleable as I would like. If you're interested, I would have no problem distributing a favor for a favor. He'll... Music to our ears. He'll hit mute real Give quick. Give us the details. Oh, uh, what? What's mal- malleable? I don't know. All right, we'll just we'll just pretend like we like understood that word. Like that's like a ma- mallet. Was that the mallet or? Oh, yo, that's what he means. That they use, they don't like like they use hammers or something. I got it. Like mallets. There we go. And he'll come back on the line. So what Ooh. what exactly is it that you're looking to have for us to uh, go and pick up for you? And uh, these people who might not uh, be amenable. As as new word I learned, these people that might not be amenable to our tactics, uh, who might they be? They are no one of import to yourself. However, they are very capable of defending themselves, from what I understand. What I need you to retrieve is a set, several sets, of uh, cyberware. How how many is several? And how big is a set? And is this uh, cyberware currently in a person or sitting in a box? Well, I hope it is in a box. But I don't know. So Kenna will tap mute again and look at the other two of the team. 
and kind of give a shrug, like, "What do you think?" I mean, it well, sounds. We need it sounds more details. We... It, it sounds like yo. Know, I don't want to jump to conclusions, but it sounds like we're gonna be robbing some people if we want to do this job. Yeah, let's do it. But first, first, and she holds up a finger in front of the mass and troll gets about to his waistline. We need to know who they're connected to, the people we're rolling. We don't want to be fighting, you know, the yaks or the crush or something because, you know, poor Horatio here. We don't want to beat it up his pals. She weighs in the direction of the orc. All right, he'll come back with and the then... line. So first question is, uh, these people that might have this thing that legally belongs to you that you just need us to pick up for you, uh, who might their uh, their closest friends be? Because we need to make sure if we're going to be bringing any kind of, you know, uh, take out dinner on our head and if that take out dinner is going to be something of the Japanese flavor or the Italian flavor those are things we need to know I like your way of putting that oh there shouldn't be any heat from a larger organization from these folk they are how should I put it undesirable even to people such as yourself how about that thing? that that I do not know I, I, have like o- I have only I have only met two of them. It was unpleasant, to say the least. What kind of cyberware? Arms, legs, a gun or two. So things we can just chop off. Nothing that gets embedded. Well, those require a much larger facility than what they than what I am sure these peasants possess. No, I need. I need this retrieved for me. Juliet nods silently to Kennel. And she then she uh, texts him over DNI uh, up on the RO. Ask him what, how much payment would be provided or how much favors would be provided if we were only able to return some of the goods. After uh, all, some may be destroyed or irrevocably gone by now. Who knows? All right, Doctor. Now, I'm not sure if you know of our reputation, but we are a... Uh a high-energy group of operators. So what I need to know is if there's the chance our tactics might cause a little bit of damage to some of the gear we are seeking to recover for you, depending on the opposition, of course. What we need to know is what kind of favors are you asking for and uh, exactly how much are you looking for us to to acquire in order to earn those favors from you? At least 75%. And the favors would be all surgeries done at my clinic should be done for free for you and yours. And when you say 75%, is that enough to fill the bed of a pickup truck, or am I going to have to get me a fleet of semi-trucks? Oh, no. that It, it, shall, it should easily fit in... Oh, what is, what, what, what is it that you people... That you people um, drive the gophers? It should easily fit in one of those. The whole thing may require two. She denies uh, Kennel. We're agreed. Ask for exact numbers and types of where. So uh, you know how a lot of shipping companies, they use this thing called a manifest. You happen to have one of those for what you're looking for us to recover? Oh, no. I just heard about the shipment from the grapevine. But with what I'm looking for, first I need to know that we are in an agreement before I send you what I need you to to grab. Juliet nods. Kenna will look over to Horatio. I am incapable of nodding. <laughs> oh, don't yeah, we'll we'll take yes. <laughs> Who cares about the slitch? Well, well, I mean, you wow. can still message her and let her know. <laughs> yeah, it's, no, not, it's, yeah. not, it's like she's <laughs> completely out of it for a full day. <laughs> so Kenna will then send a uh, DNI over to uh, to improv. Yo, snatch and grab. Steal and cyberware. We get a street dock out of it. You in? Oh, wow. That sounds neat. <laughs> so, so Kenneville, he he's about to go back to the comm link and hit the button, and he smiles a little bit, and then he'll reach one long troll arm over and put his finger on uh, on Improv's chin, and he'll move her mouth as he goes, Oh, wow, guys, I can use a bomb to explode everybody's brains. I'm in. Wow, what a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Julia would probably fall over laughing. <laughs> Yo, I sound just like her. I talked about bombs and Drake. Whoa. Okay. Oh, man. I'm making myself cry over here. All right. All right. I'm good. I'm good. All right, Doctor. It sounds like we got us a deal. Okay. I shall send it over expediently. Shortly thereafter, you receive a manifest of sorts 
it, it has listed ten separate cyber arms, one for well, ten sets, one one for each side, five different cyber legs, as well as various stations and a set of wired reflexes. Wired reflexes are going to be hard to take out of a body, but sure. Look, 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 all you do, all you do is you grip the top of the spine and you just pull. <laughs> and, and, and like the whole thing will just kind of pull out. Reaction to hinter is not wired reflexes. Okay, so we cut off the head. You got it. So, so what you're saying is we just have to steal everybody's spine. <laughs> if you have to cut them out, yes. Okay. Yo, it's cool. I, we can do that. I, I went fishing this one time and I caught this fish. And yo, my, my dad was standing on its head, and I, I broke off its claws, and it tried to hit me with uh, with one of its tails, but I stepped on that, and then the other tail, it caught me in the hand. I'm not going to lie. It cut me a little bit, but I learned that if you grab it over the second set of gills on his back, I was able to pull the spine right out. So this shouldn't be hard at all. You could almost say, like, I'm qualified to do this kind of work. Almost. I mean, how hard could it be? I'll try to see you, Candle. So, who are we going after, exactly? All right, so, uh, Mr. Doctor, how about you send over uh, whatever other information you have for us on on who it is that's got this stuff and uh, where they might be keeping it. Uh, he sends you a GPS location. And if you... He also sends you a message at the end if you want to hear it in his voice. <laughs> this was the last place the shipment was sighted. Go and get it. All right, Doc, we'll call you back when we got your gear. And Kenna will disconnect the call. What are you guys thinking? Do you do... Improv do go, is still... Do you want to go for the cyber doc? Your own thing? I like the cyber doc. Defense? Or you can always try to do both. We can always try to do both, I say. Uh, first things first, we're going for the cyber doc to knock off whoever he wants. What are the coordinates? Is this an active convoy? Is this a static location? It is a static location. It's in uh, the Hollywood district of Redmond. So fairly far north in the Red Hot Nukes territory. What do we know about the group that we're going after. Tell me when I can get out of... Uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll just go ahead and say that you can. All right. Uh, just whenever. All right, I'm back. Whether through her giving up or just forgetting what she's doing, it's up to you. <laughs> or okay, whatever. she's back. Oh, no, I have to try again. Yay! Look, look, it's fine. Information's Hi. hard to find out here. There's a lot of noise, guys. Yo, I told everybody you had to talk quiet or she couldn't do it. No, she, see, she's saying it's all that noise from us talking that caused the problems. Well, I mean, there's dozens of cyber docs. Well, but I mean, tier three. Well, but I mean, we have, uh, I mean, we had some information on this guy, right? Or, or do uh, we just not have enough to go off of anything? He didn't give you a name because you didn't ask for it. Oh, yeah. He didn't give you. He, he would have given you a drop-off location or a meet-up location afterwards. Okay. But that's all you have on the guy. Okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, Kennel doesn't really know how shadow runs are supposed to work, so he bases everything off of what he sees in the trids. And in the trades, sense. it's always like you get a call, you have to talk sort of in code, but sort of obviously, because the audience has to follow it. And then you just say, I'll contact you when we're done, and you hang up. You always have to be the one to hang up first. That's a rule. That's a very important <laughs> rule, right? That's how you show dominance. Yeah. So we know next to nothing about uh, the opposition other than where they're going to be. Yeah, he said they're not connected with any of the big crews, like the big syndicate-type crews, so they can't be that big. Oh, yeah, I mean, we can just wait and kill them. How much do you know about the Red Hot Nukes? Uh, quite friends? a bit. Not yeah, tangled. I was going to say, what does Horatio know about the Red Hot Nukes? Well, I don't personally know uh, very much about them, other than they have a thing for bombs. And mostly explosives, not necessarily bombs. They're predominantly dwarf. They're, they're a go-gang. Mostly stick on the 202, but obviously they're a fairly large gang, so they go out pretty much wherever they want to. They do a lot of extortion, almost all dwarfs. You mean they're the gang is mostly dwarves, or they mostly do extortion to dwarves? No, their gang is mostly dwarves. Okay, thank you. Okay. Well, I've I've tangled with them a lot. There, you gotta aim a little bit lower when you're shooting at them because because most of them are dwarves, and, and oh. you really gotta watch out because they they really like explosives. And like they'll try to lead you into traps and then blow you up. Well, but I mean, but I mean that's also good because like it's hard for them to run away from explosives, right? Because they got short little legs. Wait, if if they're into explosives, can't we just boost some of their gear? They have like... bikes, first of all, and let me just think for a minute. Mister Jim uh, just made a roll. 
underworld. What kind of operations are in the area? It's particularly related to the site where we're going to be running in. With where you're going, this area is very much known for used cyberware. Sort of stuff comes in and out of this area all the time, whether through abductions of people from Touristville or pulling them from other districts or just random people out in the barrens getting dragged and cut up. It's hard to know, but this area is very much known for that uh, just because of its location. Okay. What, what, what else do you want to know? Who's operating in it, aside from Red Hot Nukes? Are the is this a red hot nuke stash house for uh, you know between cyberware? From from what you saw, no, it would not be. Again, the the nukes are mostly along the highways and everything. Mostly, this would, this definitely would be a smaller gang of sorts. It's hard to pinpoint who it would be because you didn't get a whole lot of information from the guy. Okay, you two stay here and keep knocking heads together. See if something falls out. I'm going to go take a look, quiet look around. Hmm? Okay, um... Oh, well, you can't take my car, though. So you're, you're going to have to take your own or walk. Mm-hmm. I will. Hey, I just um, I just got the Scorpion detailed, so I'm looking good in that. Um, if you see any devices, uh, just, 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 just like remember what their numbers are, okay? Will do. Thanks. Oh, man, we need... Oh, man, okay, the next thing I probably need to buy is a uh, Nick store so you can hand it out to people when they go <laughs> scouting. A Nick store with a receiver. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Um, she would be dressing up as just another casual street urchin type okay. and wandering the area, really. Just making a nice, long, slow circuit, taking it all in. If there's anything in particular that looks out of place or odd, I guess we can react to it as it pops up. So what kind of roles do you want for me? I was going to say, if you're trying to blend in, that would be etiquette. Okay. If you're trying to be sneaky... Obviously, sneaking. Etiquette. Two hits on etiquette, and perception is right there. All right, give me just a second. Mm -hmm. Thanks again for spending some time with us over here at the Fourth Estate Militia Actual Play. Make sure you tune in next week to find out what it is that Juliet finds during her scouting mission.